What's up guys? It's Hazaween here. Today's horror game, happy to say, is episode 4 to Fears to Fathom, I am Bark Lookout. So in this episode we we'll play as Jack Nelson who is a 24 year old fire outlook. He's just been transferred to another outpost. While he settles into his new home, he can't shake off his feeling that something's not quite right here. And after playing the previous three episodes of Fist Fathom, we all know this isn't going to go as simple as that, is it? If you'd like to play a game for yourself, I'll leave a link down in the description. In the meantime, let's get into the episode. Fist of Fathom, episode 4. Ironbark Lookout. May the 12th. Hey, I noticed you were requesting a story submission while I was watching a YouTuber play Fierce Fathom Carson House. What I'm about to recount happened when I was 24 or so at that time. It feels kind of weird telling anyone about this because of the bizarre and absurd nature of the whole thing. But I feel like doing so might help me process my memories of it. I knew that sharing this story anywhere else would be a dumb idea because people would say I was lying. As I'm writing this, this was the scariest experience of my life. I'm Jack Nelson. I had a small job as a park ranger in States Park. I was a fire lookout stationed in one of the largest forests in the Pacific Northwest. Miles and miles of dense forest managed by the Forestry Service. I had a salary that allowed me to make ends meet. But I couldn't afford to treat myself to restaurants, nice clothes, etc. My biggest accomplishment so far was to being able to buy an RV for myself with a lot of financial help from my dad. The VR was the only sense of home I had at the time. So not a lot of money. Hmm. This one time I was transferred to from one outpost to another because of some official circumstances. It was a minor inconvenience to me, though since I lived out of my VR and liked travelling, I said a few goodbyes and I was off to a new location. Oh, we're driving. Okay. Ooh, I like it. Oh, let's stay on the road, let's not crash. Carla Nelson. Is that my wife? Maybe mum? Maybe it's stop reading texts. Shut up. Oh, I didn't. Oh! Oh, I can take a look at my RV. Oh. <laughs> Anyways. So we've got a Mitch Scott and a Carla Nelson. Right, this new re regional manager is such a jerk. Honestly, sometimes I wish I had a job like you. Working up with nature, away from people, and just getting paid to watch the wind go by. Wish my job was really that easy, Kay. I'm honestly done with this job. Pretty sure joining you next season. Like I said, you're always welcome here. Let me know if you need me to talk to Josh. It's definitely time for a change. Speaking of change... State of Washington. Ironbark? They are staffing me to Ironbark next month. The one off the Roseburg. Yeah, had they got bigger staff cabins and less campers. Call me. With Dad, I'll call you back. How is it looking? Still on my way. Van decides to pull away flat tire on me today out of all days. Isn't it late? If I don't starve to death before arriving, I'll be fine. Did you pass Roseburg yet? No, why? Who's Scott? Congratulations on the transfer. Been ready for the change? Just reaching you to tell you that you've been assigned Tower 11. Welcome aboard. This is Mitch, by the way, from Ironbark. I assume Mitch is probably my manager. Thank you. Heard a lot from you, Josh. Very excited to meet you soon. Just got ID today. Your shift starts on the 12th. Sounds good. I'll be there. Anything I need to know? I have your papers. Just bring your ID. Josh told me the job is not new to you. Can I ask you one question? Sure. Why did you pick this job initially? Not sure how to answer that. I just enjoyed the thrill, or the lack of it, I guess. I'm sorry, I just asked questions to everyone joining this line of work. People join looking for a getaway or to discover who they are only to leave without notice. Guess they're better off in the 
cubicle. To be honest with you, I joined Iron Hat Horse last year, not knowing what to expect. Solitary life has grown on me. For me, I can't do city life. This is where I belong. I'm sure I'd adapt just fine to Iron Bark. I hope you fared better than last lady. Where can I park my van? So you're arriving on Friday? Just park your truck around the back on the gravel park by Gate D. Gotcha. And from there, you'll be on foot. Take the Gold Creek Trail. From there, it'll take you a couple of hours until you reach your tower. Okay, got it. Thanks. You'll probably see Billy at the gates. Just show him your ID. I lived a very solitary life. It keeps. It helps quite my mind to keep my memories at bay. Nice. I've always loved the grey outdoors. Good. Just being surrounded by nature gives, gave me happiness. I'd be mahaunt to! <laughs> I felt like I was at home in the woods. So you're Bear, bear Grylls, are you? Carla Nelson, free text, which we'll get to in a sec. Oh shit. Don't crash now. I saw the diner Carla was worth talking about. Oh, right. What about it? I missed the diner at first. Oh, are you going to make me go back? Oh, I wasn't very proud of my driving. My fault. Sorry. And he trashed it. <laughs> then he had a little accident. Right. So we're going to this diner. Right. Is this it? We're here. Right, let's go get some scran. Hi, can I get a bite of that? How's that burger? Where are you headed? <laughs> How's that burger? This little piece of heaven. This piece is pretty much my weekend spot. You new around here? Just passing through. Uh, I'm just I'm a new staffer at the Iron Bark State Park. Might give you a bit of information. You must have heard the news then. What news? Well, a few weeks ago, three kids went missing in the park. It's been all over the news. What happened to them? No one knows. The official report says they got lost, but a lot of people around here think something else happened. Something else? There's rumours going around that a creature got them. A creature? Yeah, you know, like Bigfoot or Goatman. People say there's something like that living in that forest. Do you believe it? A lot of hikers and campers go missing in that forest. Lovely. Some of them come back with stories you would not believe. Some of them never come back. And off he goes back to scranning his burger. <laughs> I bet, I wonder if this is going to be some sort of like skinwalker windigo related sort of thing. Right, let's go in. Oh, you right there, ma'am. Welcome to Twin River to Diner. How are you doing today? Good, how about you? Feel free to take any seats you like and I'll be right with you. All right, thank you. Can I have a chip? <laughs> Please leave me alone. Oh! <laughs> what a way to try and talk to someone. Just tired. This place has some great coffee if you're in the mood for one. As you can see, I usually go for vanilla latte. So where are you headed? New job at State Park. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's great. I didn't know these jobs still existed. What do you do? 
I work in finance. I'm a financial analyst for a big firm downtown. Yeah, it's challenging, but I enjoy it. It keeps me busy, that's for sure. That's impressive. Yeah, I guess so. I can be a bit of a roller coaster sometimes, but I don't hate what I do. Very inspiring, man. Very inspiring. You. Long day of driving, huh? Where are you headed? I'm headed up north to make a delivery. What about you? Might as well just say the same thing. So, is it true? Whatever they say happened to those kids. Possibly. I can't even imagine what the parents must be going through. It's every parent's worst nightmare. Can I walk through? Imagine trying to open those. Hey, I'm your new staff today! <laughs> Anyways, let's take a seat somewhere. Are we going to sit here? What's on the menu? I can't even see. Good evening, I'm Barbara. Are you ready to order? Yes! Cheeseburger. Ooh! Grilled cheese sandwich, please. Uh, we'll go for coffee. Perfect. Everything else? That's me all. Thank you. I'll bring the food as soon as it's done. Just let me know if you need anything else. Sounds great. I appreciate it. Can I? I always had a habit of peeing before eating. All right, let's pee. Oh god, can we make the same mistake as? <laughs> I spilled. Ah oh, shit. Oh, impressive! <laughs> Didn't even splash. <laughs> Gonna wash our hands. Good. That's the main thing. Oh, is that our food? Oh, yes. Mmm, yum, yum, yum. That's... Oh, my God. <laughs> the fierce to fathom ASMR begins. I figured I'd be a well eating before I had a meal like this. Mmm, crunchy. Oh yes, Carla Nelson. R remember there's a diner well past in Roseburg. They have the best burgers in town. You have to try them out. I could really use a good meal before sh sh staffing starts. Thanks. So did you end up going? How was it? Good. Still eating. You should send me the casserole recipe you were talking about. I might get a chance to immerse myself in art of cuisine in the new outlook. I'm on my way home. Send you in a bit. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Good coffee. Oh, hello. Now what? Hey! Did you enjoy the food? Yeah, it was great. Would you like to have anything else? Uh, the check, please. Okay, I'll be right back. Good service. So far, so good. <clears throat> Here we go. Do you know what? We'll be generous and give her a tip. Oh! <laughs> thanks, thanks for the generous tip. Yeah. Alright, let's go. I had fun. Jesus Christ. That guy's still still there eating that burger. That burger must be endless. Alright, let's drive. Let's go for a drive. Alright, let's go. Oh. Yes. Oh no! That's not crashing to things. Oh shit. 
I swear I'm literally the worst driver in existence. Ugh, feeling stuffed. I hope I locked the door, by the way, when I went for a scran. Two minutes past eight, PM. Gonna be a long drive. I went to include the location of the park. I don't want anyone seeking out the other horrors I've seen in these woods. Oh! Oh! I need to go back, okay. All right, let's get out. All right. We'll go down this trail. Hello? Ah! Shit. May Lord have mercy. Oh, not Cam. You're Billy, right? I'm the new transferred pilot. Is that correct? I didn't know we were hiring this season. Hang on. Oh, I saw that. Who was that? Okay, pal, you're good to go. You're s you're staffed at Fire Eleven. I apologise for the confusion. I was under the impression that the tower would be left unstaffed for the season. But here are your keys. Thanks. Let me open the trail gate for you. Thank you. Jesus Christ. First job scare of the game. All right, let's go. Oh, I've got to go back to the RV. <gasps> Since you're arriving this late, you might also flashlight for your long hike. Thank you, Billy. You be careful. Take this. Nice, I've got a flashlight now. Welcome to Ironbark, pal. Now, for our purposes, when you get to your tower, be sure to make your first weather report from your system just so we know you clocked in safely if needs be you can reach out to tower 12 during your staffing nice enough guy he'll be your closest contact in case of any emergency thank you billy all right oh what hey just a piece of advice don't trail any further than half a mile or north of your trail north of your Tower. Why? Dangerous woods that way, pal. Bobcats and bears. Nasty business. You got it. He was trying to scare me, but it looks dead serious. Right, let's go get a bag. This our bag. Let's go. Coming out of my cage and up. Do it just fine, gotta gotta be down because of what it all started up with kiss out of the Oh god, I don't like that. See them footsteps? Eleven thirty two PM Oh, we got there. Hmm. Over the bridge we go. Tower 11. Like a bridge over troubled water. <clears throat> God. 
I feel uneasy. I feel like something is going to watch me. I feel like something's going to take me down like a snack. Ah, alright. We're going up then. Going to a trail. We're going to look out of our tower and see something, aren't we? I've actually been out here alone for weeks at a time. But I've always had fondness of the uh, outdoors. Ah. And we've got a TARDIS for the shitter. Brilliant. Anyone inside? Good. <laughs> Can you imagine? Just a peek boo Ah, generator. Oh, good. Nice. Got a generator working. Got a shed there. I ascended the stairs to the top of the tower. Alright. Here we go. Right. We're back here on the bed. Nicely done. I was finally in my new home for the next few months. Oh, look at that. So homely. But well, I want to take a look at the shed, didn't I? Oh my god. Beans. <clears throat> Top bean. Right. Okay, what we got? Ah, com compass. Got our bin binoculars. Gee. <gasps> can I take them up? And, and we can just see what's going on. Yeah. I have a feeling power's going to go out at some point, of course. It's a horror game. Of course it is. There's nothing else to do and maybe go inside. Alright. Didn't you say to... <laughs> Some sort of spray. Very cool. Uh, let's not sleep. Let's, um, they said to check in, right? Okay. Oh, we've got a password. Ah, check the fire. Check the iron bark rules flyer. Okay. Oh, let's get up. Ah, iron bark tower number, which is 11. L lights out after 12 p.m. Till PM. Supply drops are handed out every Sunday. Absolutely no guess in the lookout. Oh. No video games in this system. Well, that's a shame. I want to play Fortnite. Remember to call your sister station before you sleep. Right, there's a lot of things here. So, I. Oh. Iron. But. 11. Yeah! Grin. Hello there, it's Smiley, your trusty vital assistant. He'll tell you to make the most of your computer. Clicky click. Here's a random fact for you. Honey never spoils. Oh, there we go. Static. Who is this? I'm Connor. Fire Tower 12. Isn't that the job? But 
had to cover your area until you arrived. Nice. Anyways, what brings you to this towering paradise of ours? Just for a change. I'm a transfer from Iron Horse. An experienced comrade. I can see why Mitch picked you. You got a fire going? Get her lit. The temperature is about to plummet. You don't want to sit through the storm shivering. Okay, got it. Thanks. How do I do it though? I don't need smoke. Did you light it up yet? No! Wood stove should be around the entrance. Get her lit. Well, look how he said that and she immediately asked it. It's like, no, I haven't even had a chance. Oh, shit. Ah. Wood. Let's turn it off. Oh, there's no fire. Firewood? There must be plenty in the shack. That's all Marley did. Marley? The staffer who was in the lookout before you. She was one gritty woman. Anyways, you better get that fire going. You don't want to sit through the storm. Gasoline must be in your cabin, but if not, you can always grab your supplies from the storage shack. Hey. You're nothing but gasoline. Starting fires in 70. Ah, here. Here. I get it, I get it, I get it. So what happened to Marley then? Alright, here we go. I need to light her up. Alright, we shall do that. Oh, there's the matches. Jesus Christ. Oh, shit. Ah, I see it. I see the smoke. Nice. Nice to see Tower 11 alive again. Did you report for the night yet? Did you report for the night yet? You better get to it then. Here at Iron Bark, you are required. You don't want to disappoint Mitch on your first night. Right. Ah. Uh. So ninety. Ah, and it's the um thermometer. The temps forty four. So forty four nineteen. Mm. Says windy. Number of hikers assisted. None. Uh, oh, Jack. Now submit. Is it cl cloud? Um. Clear. There we go. All right. Oh. Number 11, copy. Roger, roger that. I think I'm going to sign off for the day. Tower 12, signing off. You See ya. Night, new guy. Oh, bye, Connor. Don't want the bed bugs bite. Alright, Mum. <laughs> Talk to you tomorrow. And to bed! <laughs> Oh. Oh. Unintelligible. Get up. Oh.
Yes. I had to pee. Connor. Oh. Weird. Maybe someone is probably messing with the radio outside. Right, let's get to the um a torch. There you go. It could be someone who's able to like connect to the radio somehow. I don't know. What's being left alone? Oh, we're just peeing over the edge. I went on showering someone. Why? Oh. Hello. I saw that. Someone hiking. Should they be hiking at this time? Realistically. Back to bed! Night two. It's just you and the wind, and the time just melts away. Take the picture. Very nice. Oh, we're taking more pictures. I do not like this. I feel we're going to see some, aren't we? Good coffee? Oh! <laughs> Alright, now what? Turn that off then. Tower 11, you copy. I'm right here. Son of a bitch. What? Nobody bothers to get a camping permit these days anymore. Do you have eyes on the smoke north of your position? Oh, smoke. Oh shit, yeah. Yep, I see that indeed. I need you to confirm. Do you see that smoke up north? Yes. Give me a chance, bro. You spot that white smoke up north? It appears to be in the lazy trail sector, which is not a registered campsite. Oh. People like that don't bother to clean up after themselves. Fire risks are high this season. Am I checking it out? Yeah, head north or put back on it. Do you have any other detail? No Head north, I'll report back on it. Stay safe out there. Oh, Don't forget to carry your bear spray in these woods, new guy. Ah, uh, so that spray out. is. Paul's gonna free can of deodorant! <laughs> Alright, looks like we're going into the woods then, are we? Ok, 
Okay, this way. Lions and tigers and bears. Oh my! Okay. 8.37pm. I followed the trail that led me to the smoke. Oh my. Oh god. Everything alright? Oh shit. Ah. Oh shit. Oh my god. Will you not believe how easy this one is to throw together? Did you reach that? Send a picture to you. Jack, you okay? Everything's alright. I'm sorry, Kate. I don't think my sex has a very good service. View for my tower. And thanks for the recipe. I might try it tonight. Pizza pasta bake. Had to put it out. Who's there? Oh my god! Show yourself! Oh my god, that is... Oh, I've just got the chills! Water. Ah, oh, there's a lake here. Cool, 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 cool. All right. Jesus Christ, don't, do, don't drop it. Yes. What? Oh. Oh, Oh god, so forming me now. As I hiked back to my tavern through the through the dark, I could just take the sense that something was terribly wrong. My mind can help but think what might have happened. Okay. Back where I was. Oh shit, hello. Oh, I hear the whistling. Oh no, I don't like it. Alright. I just want to wonder about the Vacant's campsite. Vacant. Tower 12, do you copy? Hey Connor, do you copy? Loud and clear, new guy. I was just cooking myself some hot. Well, first, what's your status? Are you kidding me? Son of a bitch. They never learn, do they? What do you mean? I'm sick of these bastards. It's unbelievable. Has this happened a lot? This is the third time this month alone. Anything else you notice in those woods? Mention scream. A scream. Must have been one of those red foxes. They sound pretty much like a screaming lady at night. It was a manly scream. I don't know what you're talking about, new guy. But I heard from the rangers that a lot of campers have been flocking to that area lately because of the disappearance of those three kids. 
kids went missing in that area. About a month ago. They were hiking with their families. They went off the trail and just vanished. No trace of them since. What does that have to do with campers? Well, people have started spreading rumors that the area might be haunted by some entities. It's crazy, I know. You would think these rumors would scare people off, but apparently it's been the opposite. Sometimes, I only wish they were true. Why do you want them to be true? Well, at least now you know why Mitch had to staff Tower 11. Urgently. That's unsettling. You guy? I hope you don't believe those rumors. Do you? Oh, absolutely not. Great. Anyways, thanks for staying vigilant. I'm gonna contact the authorities so they can take care of this commotion first thing in the morning. We can't tolerate these goons anymore. Tolerate these lunigans. If they find them, I'll personally make sure they never set foot in this forest again. Keep me updated. Over and out. Over and out. Oh, employee training. Welcome to Ironbark State Park. If you're <laughs> watching this video, then let me be the first to say Wait. congratulations. You have been commissioned by That's the Ironbark Fire voice. Department to protect one of the most prestigious parks in the state of Washington. Established in 1897, we've been known as one of the safest parks in America. We hope you can keep it that way for many years to come. This training video will ensure that you work to the best of your abilities. You've been selected as one of our fire lookout observers. This is a truly rewarding job which requires many hours of hard work. You will be working in our state-of-the-art lookout towers. And the following is a list of responsibilities you will have. Keep watch for fire. Fire isn't going to be noticeable all of the time, so also keep watch for smoke. Make sure to know what color the smoke is. It may be crucial information. Fires are best stopped before they spread out of hand. Keep records of daily temperature. When the temperature rises, it is best that we have those recorded. The science nerds at the Panoramic Preservation Society require us to note all changes in temperature. We think it's best not to get into a lawsuit. Keep records of daily wind speed. Wind is a big factor when it comes to fire. Use the anemometer to scientifically gather the data. After collecting the data, input it into our state-of-the-art service reporting form. This is a highly complicated form, often used by NASA employees. So don't be too ashamed if you can't figure it out at first. You have the privilege of using such a form. Keep campers out of unregistered campgrounds. The campers might start a campfire which could lead to a wildfire. They will not always listen to authority, so take precaution when escorting them. Make sure to note whether the person is a threat. If you're worried about your safety, do not hesitate to dial 911. Keep maintenance of the park. Make sure the park is kept clean. We have a status to uphold. Now that you know most of the duties that a fire lookout has, you're ready to start. We hope that you have a great season out there on the tower. Try not to damage any of the equipment. And remember, if you see smoke, don't joke. Call the authorities and notify them of the predicament immediately. Alright. Thanks, Jack Sepsky. <laughs> I'm so jealous. You. By the way, look what I got at home. Made the same today. Nom nom. Nineteen fifty eight four. Scene. Uh, clear? Still none. Jack Nelson. Cool. 
Hijo. Oh, that's not freak at all. Oh god, it sounded like he was getting closer. I'll check the ingredients list again. Right. Oh, we're making a casserole now, are we? Ah, uh, shit. Escape. So. Cooks pasta. Right. Tomato sauce. Rella. That's like mince. We're not having spaghetti bolognese, are we? Baked beans. Diced tomatoes. Ah, oh, pasta. Oh, look at that. Oh yes. Mm. Can't wait to scran away. New guy, you there? Yeah. New guy. Sneak out. <laughs> yes, sir. Just reported their ass to the authorities. Good job. Can track them down and get the of their mind. Maybe. So you what? I think I'm gonna hit the sack now. I know it's been a tough day, but you're doing an excellent job up there. Thank you. Good night, Connor. Meanwhile, I'm having a nice pasta bake with pizza. Oh, yes. I can't shake this feeling that I feel like I'm being watched. Especially that dude whistling. Anyways. Conceit. I like... I like eating in bed. Oh, alright. Oh, fudge, no. We're gonna see something! Oh, yes. Bit, bit weird we can't watch anything. No, no Netflix. Oh, it's already full. Well. It's a bit much for one person. I could, I could have kept it in the refrigerator. Alright, well, let's do that then. Now what? Going to bed? I've always closed the boards outside. Oh god. Here we go when we see something weird.
to bed. Two twenty seven AM. Oh shit. Let's wake up by the of course. Oh my god. Don't get up, don't get up, don't get up. What if you do not get up? Do I have to? Oh my god! Shit! I don't know what to make of this at the moment. Fudge on sticks. Connor, do you copy? Hello? I don't have any idea what time it is. There's something outside my door. Don't if, if, I don't think these kids are messing around. Some sort of real virtual. This is like some sort of real virtual, you donuts. Let's not get carried away, you guys. We're in the middle of nowhere. Well, right, well, sorry, eat your ass. Don't come crying to me. I mean, to be fair, even though I know I woke up at a certain time, but jeez. Night free. <laughs> that was chilling. Next day, I woke up being not so sure if last night was real or just a dream. Connor tried to reason it was a harmless prank by some kids. But there's something about the night that just felt darker. There is something strange happening in those woods. 8.34. PM. Okay. I I occupied most of the day either with a similar maintenance in or around the tower. Oh. Oh, we can clean. My paranoia for these woods grew after last night, which led me to be extra vigilant moving forward. Good, good idea. Why were these dirty? What was I doing to them? I was only looking around outside. Hello? Ah! Is anyone there? I, I need help. Please, someone answer. What? Are we gonna do the same and be able to tell them it's just a prank? I do feel comfortable facing... Oh, okay. Good idea. Good idea. Hello? Can anyone hear me? Jack? This is Jack, Tower 11. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, I'm lost, and I'm I'm really starting to freak out. Take a deep okay, breath. Okay, okay. <sighs> What's the situation? I I don't even know where to start. I, I went out to explore the area and lost track of time. He got lost? And, and now it's dark, and I can't remember the trail back to my truck. I think... I think I'm lost. What is your current... What is your, um, description of clothing? I'm wearing a red 
jacket, camo pants, and a green backpack. What equipment do you have with you? I have a flashlight, a compass, a fully charged two-way radio, a flare gun, and, and some of my camping equipment. What's your current location? Uh, I'm in the middle of the woods, on this trail surrounded by trees. Everything looks different at night. I thought shooting a few flare gun shots might get someone's attention, but no one's come yet. Oh, God. All it did was light up the trees and make everything look even scarier. I just want to find a way out of here. Describe your surroundings. I'm surrounded by trees, and I remember passing a small stream earlier. I'm walking towards west right now, because I remember walking east when I came here. Oh, thank goodness. I see it. See what? I'm at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get back to the trailhead. Can you help me? Right. Stay calm, I'm trying to look. Maybe left? I'm at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get back to the trailhead. Can you help me? I knew it! I thought I looked familiar! I couldn't have trusted myself with this decision. <laughs> Thanks for helping me through this. Hope you've reached back to the trail safely. I'm right here! What do you mean? I hear you! I hear your whistles. That's not Wh me. What? I see you behind the trees to my right. That's not You're me. You're freaking me out. Oh, shh. Oh, shit. I've been knocking for hours. I was asked to check in on you. What are you up to? I was assisting a lost hiker. At this hour? May the Lord be merciful. Anyway, it's got your tower supplies here. Just the usual essentials. Here you go. I feel like I'm going to pass out if I keep holding this for one second. Take supplies. Make sure you get back safely, man. What were you doing there last night? What do you mean? Up north. Why were you up there? I was required to investigate on the campfire smoke. Oh lord have mercy. Nasty business up there pal. Cats and bears. You be careful out there pal. These woods aren't normal. There's stuff out there that would love to get a piece of you. Not to mention you'd be quite a distance from help if anything happened. Got enough to keep me occupied here. Absolutely. It's a busy job. I've been hearing you've been a bit on the edge about everything lately. Mention the skull. Oh lord have mercy. Did you take a picture of it before cleaning it up? I didn't think about it. You know it's best we don't dwell on these things, pal. Besides, we can't do anything without evidence. Anyways, it's getting late. I better get going. Just keep watching. Thanks for the supplies. Alright, what's in this box? Let's take a look. Right, what are we gonna have? Oh, we're, we're gonna reheat this? Or put it in microwave? How did that. Th what did that shrink?
Right. Done with it. Okay, so now we're going to do our checks. Twenty-six. Wait, is our friend not? Where's our friend? I understand loneliness can make the mind play tricks on you. What's your name? Names can be deceiving. Call me Silas. What are you doing here? No need to be alarmed. I'm a worker. I was just doing some routine maintenance on the radio tower over there. Thought I'd say hi the new guy. Hi to hi the new guy. Everyone's been talking about. Well, nice to meet you. Do you usually work this late? Every Sunday. Just trying to keep the communication lines open. We must ensure that the right message reached the right places. Wouldn't you agree? Right. We rely on information about fire sightings. Absolutely. But fires are meant to burn and no amount of... Stop them. has its own plans. Some things can can't be controlled no matter how hard we try. And sometimes disaster is just another form of cleansing away for land to purify itself. It's getting late. I should head back to the tower now. Have a good night Jack. Hope you sleep well. But remember Curiosity can lead to places you'd rather not go. Thanks. Farewell, Jack. And you. The guy gave out the creepiest vibes. I agree. Fires, not just. What? Something to do about fires? Gasoline. Hell yeah. All right. I see the smoke coming out of your tower. Don't tell me you're not in there. New guy. You there? Don't tell me you're not in there. Bruh, what do you think? You think it's been in there? Copy something? now. This is Jack. Finally. I've been trying to reach you for a while now. Where have you been? Ran to Sailor's downstairs. Ran into who? 
Got mates in that nearby radio tower? Uh oh. Is this about yesterday? What do you I'm mean? Trying to yank my chain now. What do you mean? Radio tower's been out of service for ages now. It was closed down years ago after a lightning strike fried its systems. And its repair cost was deemed too costly. Um, sir. Its repair date was postponed until the next big funding, which is no time soon, according to Mitch. Who did I just talk to? Look, if what you're saying is true, it could be another one of those goons playing pranks on you. He knew my name. Knew your name? You think he's been listening? I'm not sure. Either way, disguising as a staff member is strictly forbidden according to park guidelines. Sure. Next time you see him, get his information or take a photo. We need to figure this out. Sure. Anyways, I'm seeing that you've already reported. I think I'm gonna hit the sack now. Tower nice. 12, signing off. Over. I've run out. My honeys were starting to grow with each passing day. So when I signed off at night, I told myself that it was just a change of environment, that I need to get used to it. The strangers I'd seen so far in those woods was not enough to cause an alarm yet. However, that would change soon. I have a feeling that this sailor guy's probably been watching us. Two nights later. Okay. 9.18 p.m. Oh shit, here we go. You got a minute? I'm listening. Well, good news. Just heard from the HQ. They say we've got a new system update on the computer. Okay. They just wanted me to let you know. They say it's an important security update. No more snoopers, I guess. How do I update the computer? Well, to be honest with you, all this new technology not really my thing. Dare I say it, these computers are probably going to take all our jobs one day. Sure. Anyways, for now use the console to run the new system update. I'm sure a young man like you can figure it out. Update. Version patch package code. Let's take a photo of this. Okay. So four three four six zero eight four. Okay, so I, I, need, I need to select the one that isn't busy then. So, 10.45's busy, 15.16's busy. So it's got to be 5.4.8.7. So, bud! Sweet. Update completed. Oh shit. Power is out. Oh no. <laughs> really? Are you sure someone didn't just turn it off? Gas. Or drenched in the rain. Sure. Is this what we need? Aha. Well, let's fill it up. You got to pump it up. You got to pump it up. Got to pump it up. Here we go. Oh 
going to stop working hide later. Oh god. One week later. Time was flying by. Connor's journey was under maintenance, which meant I had to cover his area for the past two days. When there was no fires going, the only thing I'd do is check in on Connor twice a day. That might have been the only time I ever talked. Unless I was talking to myself. Possibility. We got another one. Another one? I know it's late, but you're gonna want to see this one, Jack. Oh no. Jack? Jack? I need you to wake up. Do you copy? Yep. I'm awake. Jack, do you copy? Why are you still up? Just ask him, why are you still up? I've been here busting my ass, working on that old piece of garbage generator. Right. And now I'm seeing this. I'm seeing more smoke to my west. Looks like we got another camper. It appears to be in your sector. You see the campsite from your end? Okay, let me have a look. Let's take a look. Right, where's my binoculars? So west. You know what? I don't have it in me to deal with this crap tonight. We don't let you deal with this one. Oh, I... They don't run away this time. Take their photos and IDs. And if things get worse, don't hesitate to call HQ for help. I'll take me tomorrow morning. I'm gonna get some rest. Okay. Oh shit, yeah, I see. Oh, what the fuck? It makes sense at the time to take evidence. Right, let's get inside. Huh? 
So I just kept running down the path. Zoom in. Oh my god! Jesus Christ! Holy moly! Hope you're going out just fine. Oh, we're still not out of here. Okay. Is anyone here? It was locked. Shit. <laughs> In. I hit the gas and drove to the nearest ranger cabin. Out of breath, I radioed in to alert HQ. Look, Jack, we all get a little stir crazy out there, Mitch answered. Next morning, all four twos alleged ran a small investigation of the area. But of course, they met with no signs of misconduct. No one ever believed my story, dismissing it as a product of isolation. Just stick to looking out for fires, Mitch offered. However, this was the last time I ever set foot in those woods. Jesus Christ. The unease still sits heavy in my stomach. Even though many years have passed, the experience still feels vivid in my memory. My family thought I was making the whole thing up, which is really out of my character. But I know what I saw. Real or not, after dark, those woods can become a haven for illegal activities. So if any of you plan on going camping soon, please be safe. Well, there we go. To the end of episode 4, Fears to Fathom. This was really good fun and I quite enjoyed this episode. It was quite long this time, quite lengthy, but... Keep an eye on a campsite, you know, bits of the woods, looking at different areas, where people shouldn't be, what shouldn't be happening. Um, I'm actually still shaking from that high name bit and that running. Jesus Christ. I think that's the first Fist Fab episode where we actually get a chase. I cannot wait to see what the fifth episode has to come. Honestly. I wasn't sure what to say. I wasn't sure if we were going to be dealing with, you know, skinwalkers or wendigos. But we were dealing with a root, like, some sort of, like, cult. The way they all turn around and see was after you've taken that photo. Ho! Oh. Alright guys, well I'm gonna be here for today. If you enjoyed this video, please share friends and family who much of the content. Like, subscribe, comment down below what you think. And I'll see you for the next time.